everyone delightful dolls here quickly before we start this video i want to apologize for not being here last week or not posting but i'm here now but anyways i also want to let you know that as you can tell this is not an emily friends video but i want to let you know i'm gonna try my best to post another emily friends video next week because i know you guys like those videos and i just want to let you know that i'm not like stopping making those videos or anything like that but anyways let's get on with this video so today i'm going to be showing you how to make some 3d pen jewelry because i remember you guys really liked my last 3d pen video so i thought it'd be really cool if i could show you to make this and um so i'll show you how to make a necklace that can be adjusted when it goes around your neck and i'll show you how to make some matching earrings what you'll need to make this craft is a 3d pen I am using the Three Doodler Create, some plastic of your choice, I'm using ABS plastic, some string, I have some stretchy string over here that's more clear, and then I have some black string over here, some beads, some little earring pieces that you can pretty much find at any craft store, and a wooden dowel which is optional, and which really helps. So first you want to plug in your pen and my, I'm using ABS so my mode is on high, my temperature is on high. And this wooden dowel is really helpful for holding the beads on the end so it's hard, so you don't have to hold the bead in your hand and draw with a 3D pen. You'll kind of understand how, why it works and why it's helpful later. So I like to just take a little drop of glue and put it on the end of the wooden dowel to glue the bead in place. I recommend using a bead that you don't care about too much because it might get ruined a little bit. So I put a big bead on one side and then on the other side I put a smaller bead for the smaller earring. So once your pen is ready, put in the plastic of your choice. I'm using a silver color and then just let it come out through the front. Once it starts to come out, you can just press it one more time to stop it. And now you can start on your bead. So you want to start by kind of putting a circle all the way around the center of the bead. You can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm on a slow mode right now, but later I will switch to fast. And it, it'll look kind of like that. And then you just want to kind of fill it in. So like this. And you don't want to do the whole bead. Otherwise, you won't be able to take it off. Then you want to take it off and make the other half. Now you can glue the two pieces together. But before we do that, I like to add in a little something else. I like to add in like a bead or like a little rock. So here I'm adding in a little pink little bead. You can use whatever kind of object you would like. And then just attach the two pieces together. Now I'm gonna make the earrings. For the earrings, I'm gonna actually make them white the outside part because i'm going to make a matching uh, necklace for it later so the earrings are a little bit smaller i mean a little smaller so i'm going to be using the smaller bead for my outline and you basically just want to do the exact same thing but instead for this time it's going to be for your earrings and this time you want to make um four halves so in total you'll have two earrings then put a bead in the center and seal the two ends now for the necklace, put a string through a couple, two of the openings so it comes in one end and then goes out the other, as you can see I'm doing here. I'm using this black string and then you want to set it up kind of like this. I just tape things down so you can kind of see. So the two ends are wrapped around and then it's kind of doubled at the end here. So one end's going one way and the other end's going the other way. If you, if you kind of know what I mean, it's, I'm bad at explaining. But then there's two strings right here and then there you're going to want to make a square knot. So, you can watch videos on how to make a square knot, but I'll try my best to explain it. So, you want to take the, start with the right strand, and you want to put it underneath the middle, and then over the left strand. Then take the left strand and put it through the right loop, and then pull both ends to make the first half of your square knot. And then just do the exact same thing, but starting with the other side. So, the left one goes under the middle, over the right strand and then through the uh, left loop and then pull both of the ends. Hopefully this makes sense, but you can also watch other videos. And then I do that one more time and then I make just a normal knot at the end to really secure it. And then cut off the excess. And so now you have the knot is 
for being able to pull it and adjust it. But now you want to make a knot at both of the ends to make sure when you pull the strings that they're just not going to fall off. You want to make sure when you knot it that it's going to be the right size that it will fit over your head. And I like adding a little bead to the end too to make it a little more uh, exciting when, it when the strings dangle down your back. Then you'll have like a little bead at the end. So I just like putting on a little bead here as you can see I'm doing. And then I just cut off the excess. So it should look something like this. So now when you pull the two strings tight, it won't come off and you can adjust it however you would like. And that's how to make an adjustable necklace. Now for the earrings, you want to take, I'm going to be taking this stretchy clear um, thread and you're gonna again put it through and two of the openings. As you can see. And then you're just gonna wanna tie it with the little earring end through the, the, the little loop that it comes with. And you just wanna do a couple knots to really make sure it's secure. And then I like to give the earring piece a little tug just to make the earring a little bit more dangly and not so stiff, if you know what I mean. So now it'll be a little bit more dangly and it, and it gives it a nicer touch. And then you can just cut off the excess string and repeat with the other earring. And that's how to make some matching earrings. Now for a little add-on craft, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you guys that you can just use the bead and take your 3D pen and you just want to start from like the end of the bead and you're just going to keep on going around in circles. As you can see I'm doing here. Until you're happy with how it looks or how far you want to go then you can just take it off you might use you might use a little bit of time and then you can have a little bowl for your dolls and you can use it for anything here I'm pouring in some cereal so that's just another really cool add-on craft hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video Bye!